Now then everybody, so in this video it's going to be slightly different to normal, this is going to be a bit of an experiment to see whether or not software can create a new lease of life for older cameras and in particular the Sony FS100 which I'm using to record with today. Before I do get started on this experiment I would love to ask you guys watching at home a humongous favour and that is if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up like if you enjoyed the content. I'm really close to 200 subscribers so uh, any help will go a long way. I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve's Superscale feature to bring this 1080p footage up to 4K and ultimately you can tell me whether or not you can see any difference. So in this video I'm going to do both the Superscale and Full HD and then do some zooms in, scale ups and see if you guys can spot any difference happening. So depending on whether this works could be quite interesting to see if this software could give a new lease of life to the older camcorders and I'd like you guys to get involved in the comments section below and tell me what you think whether or not it stands up to proper 4k footage and to do the comparison shots I'm going to be using the Panasonic S1 in 4k 420 8-bit to kind of match the HD 420 8-bit footage coming from the uh, Sony FS100. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so drop your comment in the comment section below on your opinion on this footage and whether or not you agree with me that it could potentially give a new lease of life to cameras that film in 1080p like the one I'm using today. And um, yeah, it'd be good to know what you guys think on the matter. So for me, there was absolutely no question that the 4K zoomed in footage and the super scale zoom in footage um, just didn't compete with each other. The 4K footage was super sharp, the clarity was there, it looked really nice, whereas the super scale 1080p footage didn't look as sharp and you could definitely see some of that post-processing happening. Whether or not you would actually zoom in six times if you were going to be using this feature, well, now you know that you probably can't get away with it. So where I felt like the playing field had been leveled slightly was with the 4K footage and the 1080p super scale footage being sort of in their regular positions and I felt like the sharpness and the clarity was very similar. I probably wouldn't notice that that was 1080p super scaled footage and the other one was 4K. I probably think they were very similar. So um, yeah, just my opinion. You may disagree, you may agree, depending on how you saw the footage. Hopefully you've enjoyed this uh, this week's video folks and uh, if you've not already done so please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and I'll uh, catch you in my next video. Thank you very much.